Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a ship with me video. We have 27 items to ship out. We had a total of $630 in sales. And so my average sales price came out to $23.33 per item. So that is a bit lower than what I like to aim for. I like to shoot for $28 as an average sales price. However, I was wanting to move some stuff out. We are nearing the end of March. This video might go up a little bit later, but yeah, I always like to move some items out towards the end of the month, try to hit the sales goals. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to go through everything that's sold with you guys. So our first piece here is this Lauren, Ralph Lauren dress, career wear style dress you could wear this many places not just to the office you could wear this to church brunch it's a size 14 it's really soft and stretchy i do like picking up um flattering dresses like this from the ralph the lauren ralph lauren brand especially in plus size i have sold several in the past now they do tend to sit but when they do sell um, they typically sell for quite a bit. This one did not, I had it listed at 32 and someone offered me 22, which I went ahead and took that made my earnings $17 and 60 cents and my profit $15 and 60 cents on this dress. Um, I tend to pick up like closet staples, like a black ponty knit style, uh, dress, like really high quality closet basics and staples from this brand and they seem to do well. So this print was a bit vibrant. Um, I did receive this, I believe in a mystery box from Courtney who is Magnolia Thrifts here on YouTube. I don't know if I would have picked this up myself at the bins just because it is a pretty vibrant print and I feel like that just doesn't appeal to as wide of an audience as like a plain black or navy blue kind of thing. However, the floral print was great going into springtime. So maybe I would have, I don't know. Either way, I'm happy to get that moved out and see it off to a new home. Okay, actually another piece that came from Courtney. So shout out to her. Definitely go give her a follow. Magnolia Thrifts here on YouTube. This is a Love Stitch brand tunic top slash mini dress. Really pretty again with that floral print. This brand Love Stitch does sell pretty well for me. I have sold it in the past. It's definitely like a bread and butter kind of thing. And I was surprised with this piece. So I listed it at 30 and this was a full price sale within just a couple weeks of being listed. So my earnings were 24 and my profit was around 22 on this, which was awesome consider considering, you know, this came straight to my door in a mystery box. So yeah, that was so exciting. You can tell from our first two sales, as well as I'm sure what's just kind of hanging on this rack, that bold, bright, vibrant prints are selling spring and summertime. People have them on their minds and they are gearing up for warmer weather. So yeah, definitely get your warmer weather stuff listed or if you already have it listed, go ahead and relist it, get some fresh eyes on it, and get it off to a new home. Okay, now we have another dress. This one is by... All of our hangers are falling here. Okay, this one is by Ann Taylor, size 8. This is a career wear style dress with the attached belt and this is new without tags the hem and back is still sewn shut and it just looks like it was never worn it's in like new condition so i did pick this up myself at the goodwill outlet for two dollars i do absolutely love getting career wear in ann taylor 
because it retails for quite a bit. This dress was around $100 originally, if not a little bit more. And, you know, you can really get a good deal on the secondhand market on this kind of stuff. You know, it's a necessary clothing item. You, If you work in an office, you have to have career wear. So it does seem to sell a little bit better for that reason. And people have their tried and true brands. Ann Taylor, Banana Republic, J. Crew. And, you know, if you know certain cuts or styles that you like, it just makes sense to turn to the secondhand market to save a little bit of money. And this was a newer style piece from Ann Taylor. So someone probably bought it and just didn't love the fit or for some reason they, you know, just weren't happy with it. And instead of returning it, they just donated it. So yeah, it definitely needs to see some, get some use. I listed this at 45. Someone liked it, and so my Posture VA automatically sent them a $40 offer with discount shipping, and they accepted that. So my earnings on that dress came out to $20, $29.02, and my profit was around $27. So love that. Okay, now we have a bundle of three like kimono slash cardigans over shirt type pieces. This first one is by Chico's. Really pretty, very beachy, boho. This is a linen blend in a size large, extra large. So it has a lot going for it, a lot of sellable factors. I picked this up at the Family Thrift Center Outlet for $2. It's in great condition. I absolutely love finding stuff like this because I know that it's going to sell well and quickly. So second piece is a kimono by the brand Angie. And this brand Angie is a solid bread and butter seller for me in this cut of clothing kimonos. Also like rompers, jumpsuits, anything very boho and just a little bit more substantial. I like to pick up these open front kimonos and uh, just drape them over my mannequin and swivel it around to take pictures from the front, back, and sides. And then I just get those pictures into drafts. I don't take any time looking up stock photos and I don't measure kimonos. So they really are a fast listing and the return is usually pretty good. I would say like 15 to $25 is my typical uh, earnings on kimonos. And lastly is this do everything in love, one size, open front sleeveless, long line vest with a fringe trim. So very boho, very kind of festival. And this is like the epitome of beachy. So the buyer added the three of these to a bundle. And the bundle price came out to $73. They offered me 50, which I did counter to 65. And they countered me back to 60, which I accepted. That made my earnings 48 and my profit 44 on this bundle. So I kind of figured 20 for, I don't know, I figured it somehow in my head where I allotted um, a certain amount for each item that I was okay with. I think it was 25 for the Chico's kimono, 25 for the Angie, and then 10 for the do everything in love little vest just because that brand doesn't retail for much so yeah i was okay with 60 that is on the low side but like i said i was trying to move some stuff out the vest and the angie red kimono both came from the bins and they were pretty lightweight and then the chicos i did pay two dollars for at the family thrift outlet so my cost of goods were pretty low on these and they all sold relatively quickly. So all in all, I am happy with this sale. Okay, moving on, we have a 
four item bundle, three clothing pieces, and then one pair of shoes. So first off is this Zara Navy mini dress, long sleeve. It's that really gauzy cotton material. That was mainly why I got it because of the material. It's the newer tag. It was in excellent condition. Again, very beachy, very boho and comfortable. Second piece is this new without tags swimsuit from the brand Artis Artisans. I had never heard of this brand before, but I looked it up and comps were pretty good or actually the retail price was good. I can't remember about comps, but I think comps were also good. But yeah, this does retail for over $100, this Artisans swimsuit swimwear brand. That came from Courtney as well, so that was great. And then third piece is a Third Love bra. This I picked up at the bins. What was the first piece? Oh yeah, the Zara dress also came from the bins. So yeah, this is Third Love's classic t-shirt bra. My first time selling that brand and I would say it sold pretty quickly. And lastly, we have this pair of shoes by Mark Fisher. They are a gold leather upper platform espadrille sandal. Also from Courtney, I believe she picked these up from Plato's Closet. And I did go ahead and get those listed because they are genuine leather, which does make them a little bit higher quality than if they were like a faux leather type thing. They also have some fun gold studding. And they are also very summery. And like I was saying, everyone is wanting to stock up on fun, warmer weather shoes, clothing, swimsuits, hats, beach totes. So yeah, make sure you're getting all that good stuff listed. So for this four item bundle, the Zara Navy mini dress, the Artisans swimsuit, the Mark Fisher gold platform shoes, as well as the Third Love bra, when they were bundled together, the bundle price came out to $122 and I was offered $87. I did accept that. My earnings were $69.60. My cost of goods were around $6 for everything. And so my profit was $64 on this bundle. Okay, now we have a little bodysuit. This is by Intimately Free People. It's a green bodysuit and it has this lettuce edge trim around the arms that's basically like a scalloped edge kind of thing it looks like the edge of lettuce lettuce edge and yeah this is really cute this once again came from Courtney so yeah shout out to her she was sending me a lot of mystery boxes there for a while and I have just recently gotten almost all of it listed. I still have a little bit to go. I did hold on to a lot of it and wait to list it closer to summertime because some of it was super summery. And so that's why a lot of it is selling right now. So yeah, that's great. This, I believe she grabbed from Plato's Closet. So I had this listed at 18. Someone sent me a comment on the listing and asked me if I would lower it down to 10 for closet clear out day so that they could get the discount of shipping. And I was fine with that. I lowered it down to 10. They purchased it. And so my earnings were seven and my profit was five on that. And I mean, you know, everything adds up. That's one less item in my inventory and I still made a profit. Okay, now we have this, you know, this also came from Courtney. Oh my gosh, I did not realize that so many of my sales. I think this might be the last one for this video. But yeah, this uh, she sent me. It's Eloquy in a size 16. It's new with tags, denim chambray midi length dress with a ruffle trim. Really cute, very boho. I do love selling Eloquy. 
It's a pretty decent quality plus size brand. And the pieces typically never sit too long for me. I would say I've had this dress for maybe three weeks now. I listed it at 35 and I was offered 25, which I did accept. My earnings were 20 and my profit was $18 on this dress. So I do take into consideration my time when I'm considering offers. Like I spent no time sourcing this. It was, it came straight to my door. And so I was willing to take a little bit of a lower offer. And I think 25 is pretty good for this dress. I could have countered to 28, um, but this was also a repeat buyer and she's super sweet. She sent me She's actually sent me a couple mystery boxes in the past as well with some really cute items. So yeah, I definitely was fine with accepting her $25 offer. I do love to give my repeat buyers good deals and, you know, establish good rapport with my buyers. That's really important to me. So my earnings were 20 and my profit on that was around $18. Now we have a two item bundle. First off is this Athleta drape front sweater knit cardigan jacket. I think this is called the studio cardigan. It's so soft. It's like a heathered jersey material and it has magnetic snaps in the front so you can wear it with like the drape or you can magnetize it closed kind of thing this is so nice for like if you just worked out and you need a lightweight layering cardigan to throw on on your way to the car or just to run errands this thing is so soft Second piece is this Acrobat brand 100% silk blouse top. I have actually sold this in the past, but she returned it because and it was in a bundle because I can't remember which item. There was an item within the bundle that um, apparently had more wear than I disclosed, which I didn't think was the case. I did disclose that it had wear, but you know, it's not a big deal. I don't want my buyers to be unhappy with their order. So uh, it was sent back to me and I just relisted everything. So yeah, it really wasn't that big of a deal, but this is the second time this has sold. I mainly picked this up because of the material. It is 100% silk and because of the loose, silhouette it's very like effortlessly chic and because I did find it at the Goodwill outlet and it's incredibly lightweight so I probably only paid about a dollar for it grab my 1092 box and I think we might have time for one more sale after this so when the two of these, the Athletic Cardigan and the Acrobat Blouse Top were added to a bundle, the bundle price came out to $68. I did send a $45 offer with discounted shipping, which was accepted. My earnings came out to $33.98. My cost of goods were around four for both. And so my profit was $30 on that bundle. Next, we have a dress by the brand Bowden, a really nice denim midi length shift dress, zips down and back in a size 12 long. So that's a great size. Anytime you have like a more specific size, it does usually end up sitting for a little bit um, and then selling really well later on because someone was probably searching for that exact size. So yeah, I am more patient with specific sizes like long or tall or narrow or wide because, you know, it's going to take the right buyer for that piece. But when they do find it, um, it seems like they are, you know, happy to pay 
a good amount for it, I guess you'd say, because, um, you know, it is a special size kind of thing. It's harder to find. So I listed this at 38 and someone offered me 28. I accepted that. That is my ideal sales price for bread and butter across the board. My earnings were $22 and 40 cents and my profit came out to right around $20 on this dress. I do love selling Bogan. It, I would say it's on the higher end of bread and butter for me, but it does depend on the piece. That I would say was very bread and butter, just kind of like a closet staple. But if it's a higher quality fabric item like silk, or it has a really good novelty print, then it can be worth a little bit more. Okay, now we have a two item bundle. This first piece is a pinafore jumper style dress from the brand Myrtlewood of California. This was originally sold through Mod Cloth. It's very quirky, very like preppy academia kind of thing. I knew this would sell well when I found it because I've actually sold it in the past. And these kind of jumper style dresses always sell great for me. Same kind of thing, academia, preppy, clueless vibes. This one is from Topshop. It's a lightweight knit mini dress with these really cute buckles on each side. I've had both of these for, I would say I haven't had either one for longer than a month or two. So pretty quick sales here. The bundle price for both came out to 63 and I was offered 40. I did counter that to 45 just because I felt like these were pretty desirable pieces and they did accept that. So my earnings were 36. My cost of goods for both was $4. And so my profit came out to 32 on these two dresses. So I hope the buyer loves them. They're very cute, very versatile. I feel like you could wear both of these in all different seasons. You could um, add tights to the plaid one and maybe some like chunky boots. Or you could even do a turtleneck under the pinafore dress. Okay, I think I'm going to pause and run these down to the post office and then come back and finish up our last sales. Okay, it is quite a bit later in the day now, but let's go ahead and wrap up shipping my sales. So our next piece is this new with tags, Juicy Couture, black label, size extra large, velour track zip up hoodie. It's a full zip. I found this at the bins and I was pretty happy to see it because it is new with tags. It doesn't say what it retailed for, but I'm sure it was pretty expensive. I actually have no idea, maybe somewhere around 75 to hundred dollars. I'm really not familiar with Juicy Couture. I dug and dug to see if I could find the matching sweatpants, but I did not, but that was okay. I'm still happy to find this. I did like the wine color to it and it was a great size. I listed it at 48. And I would say after a couple months of being listed, this was relisted. I received a $30 offer, which I did go ahead and accept. My earnings came out to 24 and my profit was around $22 on this hoodie jacket. So yeah, anytime I find something at the Goodwill outlet that is new with tags that always does entice me to buy it because um, it's hard to pass up something that probably costs like a dollar or two depending on weight that's brand new if it's any type of reputable brand. Okay, next we have a two item bundle. First off is this Soft Surroundings sweater. It's like a mixed print two different tie-dye kind of vibe and I actually this was actually my own sweater so I just listed it from my closet 
it was just a tad too oversized on me. I bought it to be kind of slouchy, but the fit wasn't really like slouchy. It was more, I don't know. I just didn't love the oversized fit of this particular piece on me. So I did go ahead and just list that. That is the beauty of reselling is you can list stuff in your own wardrobe that you are not loving. And then these pants are by the brand Spanx and I did get these from, I want to say either the Goodwill outlet or from a mystery box. I can't quite remember right now, but either way, Spanx is a good brand. They're high waisted and they do have like built in, uh, maybe like compression, like a compression lining because they are shapewear. They are Spanx. So yeah, they do feel really nice and secure a very sturdy pair of pants. The bundle price for these two came out to $68 and I was offered 52, which I did take. That made my earnings $41 and 60 cents and my profit around 40. I didn't put a cost of goods on the sweater because that was from my personal collection. It is so cute. I hope the buyer loves it. I really did like the style of it. Maybe I'll try to find it in like an extra small or a small because it does run just a little bit big. Okay, next up we have a five item bundle. So I am going to grab the biggest box that I ship with, the box number seven from USPS.com. I do have information about all of my shipping supplies that I order in the description of this video. I order all of my boxes free from the USPS.com. They are delivered straight to my door. That's what I ship with. And then my wrapping paper, tape, dispenser, everything like that. I also have linked. Most all of it is from Amazon. Okay, now our first piece in this bundle is this Venus brand mixed print romper. So I rarely, if ever, get this brand. I did pick this up based on style and cut. So it has quite a bit going for it with the boho print. You guys know that rompers and jumpsuits do sell especially well for me, especially going into spring and summertime. So the seasonality on this was good. It looked brand new. Second piece is this Lou and Gray signature soft t-shirt dress, long sleeve t-shirt dress. Anytime I find a Lou and Gray piece in this specific material, it, they have coined the name for it, Signature Soft. It's just, uh, let's see, 97% rayon, 3% spandex. I always pick it up because people search this stuff out by keyword. So you do want to make sure that you have Signature Soft as keywords in both your title and description. I don't know if Lou and Gray has done away with that fabric like on their retail website. I think I've tried to look for it before and yeah, I, I don't know if I, maybe they were sold out of it. I need to double check that. But um, if they're not making it anymore, I would imagine that, you know, it would do really well on the secondhand market because I know that it is really popular. Third piece is this Brandy Melville ditzy floral print, like 90s Y2K inspired true wrap dress, a little mini dress. Again, perfect for our upcoming warmer weather. I've had, I would say all three of those so far for at least a couple months. Fourth piece, actually same for these last two in the bundle as well. This is a Madewell sweater, long sleeve dress. And I usually pick up basic knits like this from Madewell in like sweater dress cuts, definitely cardigans. Their cardigans sell so well for me, especially if they are a wool and or alpaca blend. 
So yeah, this is 35% wool, which does make it a little bit higher quality than if it were acrylic, polyester, that kind of thing. And lastly is a jumpsuit from the brand Young, Fabulous, and Broke, a full length jumpsuit, super cute. It has like a crossover cutout in back. It's a mixed media, so part of it is linen and part of it is like a satin material, which is really interesting. It kind of is like a juxtaposition of like fancy levels, I would say. Yeah, 55% linen, 45% rayon, and then the contrast is tinsel and viscose. This looked brand new, so with it being a full-length jumpsuit and linen blend, I definitely wanted to grab that at the bins when I found it. And that is all we have for our bundle here. Add a piece of paper on top and seal the box up. So for this five item bundle, the Venus Romper, Blue and Gray, Long Sleeve Dress, Signature Soft, Brandy Melville, Mini Dress, Madewell, Long Sleeve, Sweater Dress, as well as the Young, Fabulous and Broke full length jumpsuit. When everything was added together, the bundle price came out to $134 and I was offered 90. I did accept that because like I said, I have had all of these items for at least a couple months now. I was trying to meet my sales goals. So my earnings came out to $72. My cost of goods on everything was around 10. And so my profit was 62. That's definitely not ideal for five items, but I know I mentioned it in the past. I still have quite a bit of inventory that I purchased when I had an assistant that I was trying to um, just kind of double my money on after I paid her and um, subtracted my cost of goods. So I really wasn't expecting to make a whole lot of profit on a lot of these items because, you know, my assistant was steaming them, photographing them, measuring them, and drafting them. And so because I myself was investing so little time, I was fine with just doubling my money on them. So yeah, I'm trying to move those out and just double my money and um, take that and invest it into some higher selling inventory now that it's back to just me. So yeah, that is why you may have seen a decrease in my average sales price recently because I am kind of trying to shift my business model back to solo working and picking up stuff that is going to sell for more, picking up less items that are going to sell for more money versus picking up, you know, kind of a volume based business model where I'm selling a whole lot of items for less because I was having that help there with the process stage. Okay, so next we have this pair of Urban Outfitters pants. All in all, it does work out in the end though because you know even though I was having to pick up a lot of um, lower end items, I had to do that. I say that I had to do that because I paid my assistant by the item, and so you know when I went to the bins and it was a bad day. I could not just leave empty handed. I had to get pieces that had at least one or two sellable features to them because that was how I paid her. So yeah, I had to find a certain amount of items, but you know, there were really good bins days. And so it all kind of averaged out at the end of the day to be kind of my target sales price. Um, when you account for the really good stuff that I was finding, as well as you know the pieces that I was picking up just because I had to meet that item quota. Okay, so this is a pair of Urban Renewal Leopard Printed Pull-On Flare Leg Pants, and they are new with tags. So Urban Renewal is a line from Urban Outfitters in which they take vintage fabrics and rework them into more modern items, or they just rework items in general. And Urban Renewal 
uh, everything from that line has always sold so well for me. I would say around that $30 price range. And these cans were no exception. So the tag showed that they retailed for $49. I listed them at $30 and they did sell for full price. They were recently relisted, so I do believe that that was why. My earnings were 24 and my profit was 22 on these cans. So I'm definitely happy with that. This whole pull on flare leg pant trend is still definitely going strong. I think it's pretty popular with the younger generation and um, the kids on TikTok and whatnot. I can say that now that I'm in my 30s, technically. Okay, our very last sale to package up today is this Chico's dress. Another great sale. So, yeah, this I found at the bins. It's a Chico size 2, which is equivalent to a U.S. size 12 slash 14. And because it has the U.S. size equivalent on the tag, I do know that this is a newer piece. They only recently started doing that. It has a fun mixed print to it. It's a nice shift style career wear dress. You could wear this to church or, um, you know, really any kind of outing that's a little bit more formal. I had this listed at 36 and it sold for full price. Again, shortly after being relisted. So get your items relisted. Let this motivate you. My earnings came out to $28.80 on this dress. I paid a couple dollars for it at the Goodwill outlet. And so my profit was right around $27 on this dress, which is awesome. So yeah, this kind of serves as an example. This was an item that my assistant did process for me and so when you average something like this with a piece that sold for $15 that I picked up because I kind of had to like I had an item quota if you take the $15 sales price and add it to the 36 we'll we'll say 35 so $50 divided by two that's an average sales price of $25 per item so that's kind of what I'm saying. Um, everything averaged out at the end of the day to be totally fine. I never really sweat anything too much. Just keep moving. And um, I just do my best to invest into items that I know will sell. If all else if all else fails, that's always my plan. And you know, obviously you want to find items that will sell for quite a bit of money, but this is a business, if it's your full-time job and it pays all your bills, you just have to keep moving and um, investing into what you know will sell and what has a lot of sellable factors. So yeah, I that kind of turned into a little tangent, but that's what happens at the end of the night. It is 9.58 p.m. So I'm gonna get this put into an Ikea bag, take it home, and I will see you guys very soon. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye, guys.